Hi, I'm looking at the pressure transducer after getting a bit of help from Dave Sterl saying how I can make my waveform look even better. I thought I'd just show you the difference and share it with you. This is for the PV500. It's a fluke pressure transducer and I'm using it in cylinder. This is what the pressure transducer looks like. And on the back we see it says 1 PSI no, one millivolt per unit. So if I've got it on PSI, it would be one millivolt per PSI. But it also works at one millivolt per... What's the other one? KPA. So if I go for KPA on the setting, I get a much better signal. So I'm going to set this up and show you what I mean. When we're looking at anything as small as millivolts, it makes the line look even wider, you see? So you don't get as good of a signal. But if I have a bigger... That amount of space on the screen is showing 200 millivolts and it's divided in 40, 80, 20. 200 millivolts per screen. And that's plus and 200 minus. But if I show you... So if I was looking at the screen as 500 or even 1 volt, it goes thinner. That's 1 volt for the whole screen there minus one volt down, plus or minus one volt. So the line looks much better to see what you're doing. In two volts it goes even better, right? And this is without any filtering, it's just using it as it is. But when you're dealing with something that's one millivolt per division, if you're reading PSI, that would be 40, 80, and we have a running compression of around 80. Or so, maybe a bit less. It's right around there for a card anyway when it's running. So, we're going to see a really wide line. And I'll just show you quickly what that looks like. Here we are actually. This one's slightly better. I'm going up even higher in the pressure. Probably up to about 100 PSI running. But you see what I mean about how wide the line looks. So, one thing Dave said to me was, you can change it to KPA instead of using PSI and I'll show you what happens. Change this right here. Just press it and now that comes out. You see the lines much bigger. It's off the screen, right? So I can change my scaling now. Change it again. One volt per division. Do you see that? It's down to one volt from the center up to the top and one one volt each way. You see how much more user-friendly that is? And that means I don't need to apply a filter that might take bits off and round it off in places so we still see the, the actual information that we want. So that was such good advice that it was Dave Stirl that told me about that. And I thought, i gotta sh I got to share it with you. You probably already knew, but I never thought to go from PSI. I'll just switch the engine off. Let me just stop that. I never thought to go to PSI to KPA because uh, PSI means more to me. But now we can look at this. So if it was, um, this is 0.2. So let's figure out what the units are. See how much better, better it is though. That's without a filter. So I'm much more happier with this now. I just use the rulers that come with this Pico software. I haven't put a filter on though. And right here you can see roughly where it divides it into the, that would be the power, but it's not in this case. So you could call it expansion or decompression. But we've got, that is what would be the power, the exhaust intake. And this does have variable intake, so it might look like it's slightly off from where it should be. And then we're back to compression and then back to the beginning again. So that that's all looking good. And we've got, so, if 1 millivolt is 1 kPa, and we know 100 kPa is 1 bar, so like, every point 1 would be 1 bar, so that's 2 bar, 4 bar, 6 bar, 8 bar, and 10 bar of pressure, because that would be 1,000 millivolts. 1,000 millivolts. So that's 1,000 kPa. So there's our range. So we're up to here. 
we're up to nearly six bar. I've not got any exact um, measurements out. It's just to show you how much better the waveform is after Dave showing uh, well, he told me what to do, and it's just as simple as pressing a button on here. And I've uh, probably also got the same thing that would benefit me if I went into the centimeters of mercury instead of inches of mercury. Anyway, I'm passing it on, just showing you that it's a bit better than I first thought it was. If you haven't looked at Dave's latest video with a pressure transducer, go and check it out, because he's shown you a pressure transducer that's relatively inexpensive, and it's very good. It does a much better job at showing you the vacuum than some of the cheaper ones that a lot of us have tried and had no luck with. So if you've not seen it already, go and watch that video. And thanks for watching.